Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. Today I have three thrift store makeovers to share with you. So let's get started. Today's first project is this kitchen shelf or spice rack. I think it's got great bones, but it needs a little update. I'll be using a one inch paintbrush to apply some white paint. The paint I'm using is something I've had for so long, I don't even remember the name anymore, but it's from Pittsburgh Paint and it's a semi-gloss finish and that is what it looks like. Starting with the drawers, I added a thin layer of paint and then I moved on to the rest of the cabinet. So after I allowed the first coat to dry, I did give it another second coat of paint and that was enough to cover all of the surfaces quite well. After allowing the cabinet to sit overnight, I took some fine grit sandpaper and ran it along the edges and anywhere else that I wanted to highlight. Final step was to give it a satin varnish from Deco Arts. I wanted to make sure that I did this step because I'm going to be using it in the kitchen and it's going to need to be washable. So this will help with that. I just applied it with a small brush. And here is the finished project. I think it turned out so cute. It looks adorable sitting on my counter in my kitchen and I had so much fun decorating it. For my next project, I'll be giving this frame an update and using it to create a backdrop for a wreath. The frame itself is quite simple, but it does have a few details which I think are perfect for this project. To get started, I first removed the photo and the glass from the frame. I then picked out some acrylic paint in the shade Vanilla Ice Cream from Apple Barrel. Then using a small craft brush, I gave the frame two coats of paint. Once the paint had time to dry, I used some fine grit sandpaper to distress the edges and bring out some of the details of the frame. The final step of my painting process is to give the frame a coat of satin varnish by Decor Art. Now I like to use craft paint for projects like this since the paint dries so quickly, but I'm not a big fan of the matte finish. Applying a varnish or a cream wax is a great solution to keep everything smooth and to give the paint a little protection. Moving on to the second step of this project, I picked a couple pieces of wood from this bundle of last wood I picked up at the home improvement store. And using the help of a miter box and saw, I cut the wood into strips that fit perfectly into the back of my frame. Once I had all the pieces cut, I laid them in the back of the frame just to make sure that they all fit properly. The final section of frame to be covered was too narrow for a single piece of wood, so I had to cut one piece down to size in order to make it fit. Because the last boards are rough cut, I decided to take some fine grit sandpaper to sand down each of the pieces. Next 
Next, I wanted to make the wood look aged, so I decided to use this pickling wash by Folk Art in the color Stormy Sky. To add just a little color to the wood, I decided to use the pickling wash like I would a stain. So working quickly, I applied the pickling wash with a brush and then wiped off the excess with a rag, and this gave the wood a nice aged look. The final step is to attach the wood to the frame itself. So I started by laying strips of wood paint side down to the frame to double check the fit. Then removing one piece at a time, I applied some hot glue to both the top and the bottom of the frame, replaced the wood, pressing down on it slightly to hold it for a few seconds as the glue set up. I then repeated the process with the remaining strips of wood. And this is how the finished project turned out. I am completely in love with this project. I think it turned out fabulous and I can think of so many different places to use it around my house. And I think it is the perfect way to upcycle a frame from the thrift store. My next project is to refresh this wooden clock. To get started, I remove the clock face from the base. And then because the base had such a glossy finish, I decided to use some fine grit sandpaper and sand down all the surfaces of the clock in preparation for paint. And because I am craving some spring-like colors, I chose this turquoise blue color by Americana. And then using a small craft brush, I simply painted the clock base with a single coat of paint. After I allowed that to dry, I did give it a second coat of paint. Once the paint had completely dried, I used some fine grit sandpaper to run along the edges and anywhere else on the base of the clock that I wanted to distress. Distressing the clock base is of course optional. You can use as little or as much or none at all, but I do think that adding a little bit of distressing to a piece like this really makes it pop and gives it a unique shape and design. And finally, I like to seal the paint because I don't like the matte finish. So I'm using Decor Art's Satin Varnish today and I just think it finishes the project off very nicely. Um, the varnish does come in different types of sheen like a matte, a gloss, and a semi-gloss. And this is what the clock is looking like after I have it all put back together. I'm loving the pop of color. I think it's perfect for springtime, and I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I appreciate it, and I will see you again very soon. Bye now.